I'm Chicken Little. And I'm Henny Penny. Paka! Once again, presenting the controversial videotape received earlier today. From a mysterious dimension parallel to the Earth, greetings to all round, fuzzy, squishy things. I am Colonel Cubicles, leader of the Bullion. We are speaking to you now to issue an ultimatum. Free the cubes. Free the cubes. Or taste our vengeance. You have 24 hours. We received this tape 23 hours and 50 minutes ago. What does it mean? Our expert joins us. Dr. Carl Cockerell, expert in crowd control and alien invasions. Carl Cockerell, the bullion? Should we be afraid? We should always be afraid, Henny. Whether a threat is real or not, if any stranger enters your area, remember to cluck hysterically, flap your wings, and run around in circles. We're chickens. That's what we do. Thank you, Carl Cockerell. For New Center 12, I'm Henny Penny reminding you, if you want bread, you've got to help bake it. And I'm Chicken Little. The sky is falling. You know the old saying, when the cat's away, the mice will play? But what do chickens do when the farmer goes to town? Well, they have themselves a party.
I'm Perry Lullegram, and this is the news. Our long nightmare is finally over. At this hour, the war between the cubes and the soft, squishy things has ended in peace. And it turns out it was all based on a simple misunderstanding. We thought the soft, squishy things, which we now know are called chickens, had kidnapped cubes from our world. But we've now learned that these cubes are not cubes at all. Well, they are cubes, but they're not cube cubes, if you know what I mean. They're food. For a larger, squishy thing with split hooves called a cow. I don't pretend to understand it. All I know is the danger is over. Here to explain it is our leader, Cubicles. Silence. Oh, okay, you, you weren't talking. It is I, Cubicles. We have engaged in a great war with the soft, squishy things we know as chickens. 
I believed that these chickens had imprisoned certain of our kind. This was my bad. Funny story, these were not real living cubes, but stacks of food that looked like cubes. <laughs> like tofu or, or marshmallows. They are called hay bales or hay stacks. They are inanimate, not alive at all. They are eaten by cows, a larger, soft, squishy thing. So, I almost got us all killed for nothing. Joke's on us. Sorry about that. But all's well that ends well. Can I still be your leader? Silence? Well, okay then. But we could have been in danger if we had been in danger. Oh, never mind. I am so out of here. Is Mort the chicken any less a chicken for a being a hero? Maybe it's okay to be brave. He saved our chicks. Perhaps he even saved the whole world. Thanks, Mark. Here with commentary, Carl Cockerell, expert. Sometimes even experts get it wrong. Not long ago, I told you that chickens, when faced with danger, should run around flapping their wings and clucking wildly. That's what we do, I said. We're chickens, I said. Well, what about Mort, the chicken? When faced with danger, he went forward to face it, fearlessly. He saved our chicks. Perhaps he even saved the whole world. Is Mort the chicken, any less a chicken for a being a hero. Maybe it's okay to be brave. Once in a while, 
if you look both ways first and get a note from your mommy. Why not help the helpless? Maybe panic and fear are for the birds. That's just my opinion. Please don't hurt me. I'm Carl Cockerell. Well, looks like things in the old farm are finally back to normal. Chickens are clucking, the hoe down's commencing, and Mort the chicken, yeah, well, he's still on the lookout. It's safe. Thanks to Mort the chicken, things are gonna stay that way.